Okay, we just want me to talk. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, the second year for Mobile Loaves and Fishes Summer Camp. Uh, this year, um, we chose to uh, with the theme of Get Tough on Poverty. And that was kind of a, an outbreak of last year with, in Steiner Ranch where there was the fires and stuff like that. And it was, you know, at, towards the end of the summers. And we thought that would be a great way to incorporate it in, with the kids here because a lot of the kids here at camp are from Steiner Ranch. And so it's like, look at, you know, not only can you help the poor and the homeless, is look at, you can make a difference in your own backyard. And that's kind of the overall theme of Mobile Loaf St. Thomas More Camp and everything that we do here as part of our community. My name is Shane Baker and um, I'm the director for the Mobile Loaves and Fishes Camp Program and I have been serving at St. Thomas More for probably about 12 years now. Some of the main things we do with Mobile Loaves and Fishes Camp um, on the service side is we make the um, survival kits which kids actually have little kits of snacks and water bottles that they can pass out to the people on the street or someone that needs them. We have kits that are med medicinal kits where we have band-aids, first aid equipment, um, small medicines that we put together to hand out on the truck. And so on the survival kit side, we've got given the kids an opportunity to see where, you know, if you're using something at a hotel and you've got leftovers, bring that home, take that with you we can reuse those things. So it's teaching them to recycle common things that they're having exposure to all the time. Um, other activities, we have them make the sandwiches for summer lunch program. So at a time, they are making um, hundreds of sandwiches a day and we're loading those sandwiches and bag lunches onto the trucks. We also have the kids um, bring in canned goods. We've been having canned good contests to drive a lot of um, increase into our pantry program. The pantry program then, we take those canned goods and make grocery bags that we hand out to underprivileged families and families that, you know, maybe on the verge of choosing whether or not they're going to be able to have dinner that night. The idea behind this camp was to teach the kids you can make a difference, show them ways that they can actually get involved and help out their community, teach them how to be better people, teach them how to overcome adversity, teach them to reach out to people that just need an extra hand or a smile or you know a pat on the back on the playground, and then to give them an opportunity to serve in, an, in a very safe and controlled environment. So that was kind of the goal behind the camp, and, um, and I think we're succeeding. I think that the kids are learning a lot, and they're having a really great time doing so. Children and I'm 12, and this week we learned about how to help people who are in poverty. That poverty is where there are kids out there that kind of have lost their homes and kind of have lost fate, and they've taught us to kind of try and help them as best as we can. Um, pretty kind of scary because they, um, they didn't really get to have food and stuff. That there's lots of people that need help because they don't have homes and they lost it because of not having enough money to buy food or water. We learned kind of the things they go go through and the things that and ways we can help them. It's telling me that poverty doesn't mean that you don't have a home. It's just that you have a home, but it's not exactly like everyone else's. But you might live in a car or you might live in a hotel, but usually people can't tell until you tell them. And some people might be embarrassed because of that and they won't tell them, so no one will be able to know or no one will be able to help them. Like, you could donate toys or money? Well, it's taught me that there are some people out there that don't have homes and they don't have enough money to buy food. I just want to do all I can to help. Um, I learned that you can help them by donating stuff. This camp has taught me that when you're in poverty, you don't have enough money to pay for your home or food, and sometimes you have to live in a car or hotel, but that doesn't matter because if you're with family, it's all good. We've made survival packs, and we baked uh, goods to put on the truck. We prayed, and we also made sandwiches for the survival kits. Well, you could raise money 
buy lemonade stands, selling candy bars. <laughs> um, Earn money to buy them food and shelter, do bake sales. Well, um, you could raise money by doing a lemonade stand or something, but another way to help them is just go talk to them about what they need help with. I think I can help people that are living in poverty by selling like lemonade or to raise money or even going on a mobile and vicious truck run. Probably going to the whole, the senior center thing it was fun. What did you do there? We <laughs> we sang. Um, we sang and we gave them water. Going to the senior center. What did you do there and why did you like it? Uh, we sang and we stretched and it was just really fun. Probably going to the food pantry. We helped yeah. put the food on the You're shelves and put it in the back. I'm a bags to go on the truck. Working in the nursery with all the little kids. Oh. <laughs> Why was that fun for you? Because they just were, it was just fun to teach them about God because we read them a bunch of books about what God means and it was just really fun. Probably baking because I just, um, like when they get the food, I know how happy they'll be and it's just so awesome. Um, making cookies and mostly it's excitingly brownies. <laughs> it was pretty messy, but I got to lick the chocolate off my hands. My favorite activity was. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, the brownies. Making brownies. My favorite activity probably has been baking because we've been making cookies, and today we're gonna make brownies. Um, to put on the truck for the homeless. I even bake at home and we put cookies in our car and we go out and we give them to the homeless and so I, that's my favorite part. Yeah.